Okay, so I've decided it's time for a little bit of a shack reshuffle. So I've got my nice new radio rack behind me here, which uh, is not quite ready yet. A couple of bits to uh, tweak on it, waiting for some uh, kit to be delivered from the States. Um, loads of people have told me how good 10 meters is at the moment. So I've gone out and I've bought myself, I wanted to do it on a bit of a budget. So I've bought a Moonraker Gap F 5 8 wave vertical. Now this is a CB antenna, but it also covers 10 meters. It's adjustable. Uh, comes in the usual uh, obligatory plastic sheath. Uh, good for 500 watts apparently. So uh, UK legal limit as it currently stands. Hopefully soon to get a thousand watts. We'll uh, we'll see. And uh, it doesn't come with any instructions, but I have it here. And uh, you got a bag of uh, bits. You got these uh, clamps that go on. It is literally just a telescopic section, so it's not that hard. So what I've done is I've put it onto a short stub mast here. I've got um, a concrete mast. In the ground outside which is only a few feet tall so my plan is i'm going to mount it on that mast that short mast in the middle of the garden and uh, get the antenna analyzer on it just to tune it roughly to about the right length get it roughly the right length and then uh, i'm going to stick it on the big 12 meter mast now i know the swr and the resonant frequency is going to change probably quite substantially as I put it up on the uh, big mast. So I'm going to tune it towards the bottom of the band in its uh, testing location on the uh, short mast. And then uh, I reckon the frequency, resonant frequency will go up slightly. So the um, antenna will appear electrically shorter at greater height. So that's what I'm anticipating. Okay, so you can see the antenna in its test location here. Just a short little stub concrete in the ground, so it's only a couple of feet off the ground. But I've got quite a nice SWR on it, uh, around about um, 28.2, something like that. Just uh, possibly a little bit over, which will probably be about right. So next step is you can see my big tilt over mast here. I've got to drop that down, put an extension on the top there, and I'm going to mount it above that moxon. So uh, that's my next project. Well, I've made up a coax cable for the antenna, and I have put a bit of heat shrink on the feed point on the connection at the base of the antenna because it is going to be outside in the wind and rain. So uh, to try and keep some of that moisture out. Mounted it on top of the mast. By my reckoning, we've got about 14 and a half meters above the ground. So quite a bit of height, should work pretty well and uh, unfortunately i ran out of time it got dark on me last night so we're picking this up the next morning and on my tablet here i have the uh, swr plot and the first thing that stands out on me actually is uh, just how flat that swr plot has become with the increase in height so we're resonant about 28 and a half megahertz which is more or less where i wanted it in, in the ssb portion Looking towards the top of the band, around about 29 to 30 megahertz, that's your uh, FM portion and repeater portion of the 10 meter band. The worst I'm seeing there is just over 1.5 to 1, so very good, perfectly usable. Uh, going down towards the bottom of the band, the SWR doesn't really start to rise above about 1.5, 1.6 to 1 until you get to 27.5 megahertz. So basically it covers the whole of the 10 meter band um, you might get away with the, the higher end of the um, CB band on 27 megs as well, especially if you've uh, got a tunage to uh, tidy it up just a tiny bit. So uh, SWR plot looks very good. Looking at the whisper reports, now I did this at uh, between half nine and half ten in the morning, which I thought would be a bit early for 10 metres. I didn't think uh, 10 metres comes alive till later in the day, but... Um, Looking at the uh, whisper plot, getting out all over Europe, so looking good there, both on transmit and receive, and uh, even got a bit of grey line going on as well down into Asia and uh, even as far as Australia. So uh, very uh, very happy with that, and like I say, probably not the best time of day to be uh, testing on ten meters either. Right, so in summary, Moonraker Gap F five eighth wave vertical antenna. 
Uh, I'm not being paid for this review. I get absolutely nothing. I paid the full asking price for this antenna. Uh, they say it covers 26 to 30 megahertz. It does. I've proven that with the uh, SWR plots. And what you didn't see off camera is uh, when I first assembled it, I was getting down at 26 megahertz. So it does uh, it does cover the whole of the CB and 10 meters. Um, not at the same time, although you might be able to tweak it out with a tuner. Um, power up to 500 watts, uh, which at the time of filming is maximum uh, maximum legal power in the UK is 400 watts. Uh, possibly soon to be a thousand but uh, if you're happy running 500 watts and you want a cheap antenna I want to do some more tests in terms of uh, SSB I've not tried it on SSB yet but as a cheap 10 meter solution I think this could be a goer